Alright, welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 19 here on Spectacle Island 19. Get out of here, birds. Um, I think the conveyor belt sucked the most of it up. I don't know exactly how much poo we got in here. I think I just went in the wrong one. Uh, we're expecting rain this evening, so we really can't do too much. Our animals, our pigs, doing pretty good. Just need a little water. Uh, sheep's doing good. Chicken's doing good. Goat's doing good. Oh, cows need a little TMR. But other than that, we're doing good there. So let's get this uh, uh, manure or poo. Let's call it poo. Not Winnie the Pooh, but this poo. I hope we got enough of this poo for the greenhouses. Oh, I got to start the conveyor belt. So how y'all doing today, folks? Y'all doing all right? Oh, I'm doing this good. I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. If you turn this belt on, it's going to suck it all up. Um, eh, got to get closer, huh? Oh, ain't too much in here. It ain't too much in here. We're going to have to go buy some, looks like. I hate to have to buy poop. Come on, cows. Come on, ladies. Y'all do a little bit better for me. Oh, man. Folks, this ain't going to do nothing. We're just going to have to split it in a couple dumps. We got 5,413 liters. You know, that, that is not going to do nothing. Might have to put the pigs back on straw so we can get some poo but anyway yeah uh, today um, I guess since we can't harvest we're going to go down I guess down south down yonder I don't know where we're going to go really let's see it's on the back maybe put it on the right one thing about this manure trigger you got to really get close or at least with this trailer. Or do I even have it? I got it on the right side. And that would be that side. Yeah, you gotta get close with this trailer. Pretty realistic. Oh, you wouldn't wanna. Oh, wait. <laughs> Help if I was on the trailer. Oh, Big Daddy's probably like, what are you doing? Okay. Stop, stop, stop. Don't want to put how much we put down. Oh, that's not that's not gonna be enough. But one thing about it, we spread it across all of them. We'll get uh just a little bit more money in each one. Might have to put more than a little bit more than the other three or something. Let's just speed this up a little bit, you know. Ah, I missed it. So yeah, um, recording this on uh, November the 9th, folks, and uh, yeah, we'll be seeing it Friday, uh, November the 12th. You know what that means? That means it's 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 days when y'all are seeing this. Oh man, I dumped way too much just then. That'd be, uh, what did I say, 10 days? Uh... And Farming Simulator 22 will be out. I can't wait, folks. I can't wait. Go ahead and let the rest of this put in here. Alright, I don't know if y'all noticed this or not, but I did create a uh, good turnaround here. Well, I didn't. The guys did. Mr. Yankee and and uh, Colin and, and all the others. Dan from 3D Outdoors. Hey. <sighs> Folks, oh, oh, I forgot. We're going to sell. We're going to take this up to uh, John, that that uh, cedar right there. And we're going to sell that to him. But we're going to have somebody take it up there for us. And then uh, we're going to get in our case here. And we're going to go spread um, oats out for uh, field one and two. I decided to go ahead and go with oats. Let's see, they got this cleaned out pretty good the way it looks. Alright, let's see. Um, oh, I was hauling potatoes to my, uh, not 
to my crane, but to my silo down there. So the crane was the closest. Uh, let's go to. Actually, no, we don't need to go to tugboat. We need to go to vehicle workshop. There we go. And uh, we'll get Dan to do that, and then we're gonna get this guy here or somebody. Uh, let's switch you over to oats. And let's just go ahead and fill this bad boy rest of the way up. Let's see, look like we got plenty of fuel uh, seeds. Yes, because that's what we got in it. 604. Not bad, not bad, folks. Um, I don't know how long this episode's going to be, folks. I, I really don't know. I'm not going to shoot for no 30 minute episode today. Uh, it's Friday. And uh, I want y'all to enjoy the, the, the weekend. Let's see, I got it set to oats. Let's start right here, get this corner knocked out. There we go. Let's kind of go across here like this. I need to get my AB line set, but it'll be alright. I'm going to hire a worker. Um, I don't know, does this got auto? No, this don't have auto, it's just fertilized. This is the fertilized part, Mr. Blue. But y'all yeah, probably like, Mr. Blue, that that's not real. You can't throw yes folks. Um they don't use this and but they oh I'm missing. I'm missing. But they use a broadcaster kinda like this. It's this bigger and it's on like a flotation vehicle that has real big giant wheels. And uh yeah, they, they, when it's kind of wet and they know they ain't going to be able to do too much uh, tillage and stuff, they'll use an airplane uh, to fly rice in. I don't know if y'all knew that or not. Um, a lot of them drills in while it's dry, but if they get to a bind or something and they can't uh, work in no more, you know, the ground's already level and cultivated and everything. They'll take a plane, fly in, and the the height for the plane will make it go into the ground. When it falls, it actually buries itself a couple inches into the ground, and just enough to bury it so it'll sprout up. And you know the fields already got moisture in it, so that's a pretty good way. Now, as far as this uh, broadcaster, they use a big one, and they usually mix uh, seeds. Oh, our vehicle made it up there. They mix uh, seeds and, if I quit missing, I'll be all right. I can be able to talk now. But they uh, mix seeds and fertilizer together and make it all in one trip. And probably pot ash or something too, if it needs it. But anyway, um, let me get some of this here done. Yeah, I'm gonna hire work. Oh, worker completed his task, and so he ain't going to work right now. Let me get some of this done here, and I will meet y'all up at the uh, tugboat, to, or our vehicle workshop, I should say, to sell that um, cedar. So I'll be right back, folks. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and back this in here, and uh, I can't believe I've already recorded for eight minutes or nine minutes, folks. This is what a little bit I talked about. Jeez, time flies. I can watch Dagger and stuff. It'll be a 30 minute video and it seems like it takes forever to, to sit through it and stuff. And he gets a lot done. Let's see, let's repair this, $57. Then we're gonna turn around and sell it. For how much? 36,686, sir. Okay, good. That brings us up to 86,000. Uh, 86, All right. Um, let me get this back to the shop. Well, it looks like we're just going to barely have enough to do this. Um, field two and field one is done. As you can see, this thing, well, I've done cut it down to 37 instead of 39 on the width, and it still wants to leave little zigzags every once in a while. Well, not zigzags, but little gaps. I guess wind's blowing or something might be blowing across. See them right there? Yeah, right. 
there and right there every now and then they'll do something like that all right um we're probably going to do some wheat maybe wheat or barley uh barley is a little bit better for the chickens but um we're not going to do it around here we're fixing to go to the new spot folks and spend the rest of the episode down there all right folks all right y'all probably like oh my god mr blues going deforest the the forest again well folks i own this field and i went and talked to forestry i mean uh spectacle island forestry commission and um they said <clears throat> you know what you got to do i'm like there's only 300 trees and he's like Sorry, folks, bug just hit my air conditioner and uh, scared me. But anyway, yeah, you see what I'm doing right here. These trees are facing me. These trees are going away. Well, this gap right in here is going to be a beginning of our field. Eventually, all the trees are going to come out of here somewhat, and we are going to replant some new ones. Um, yeah, I, I can afford to plant some new trees, you know. We don't have to cut all the way around the edge here. We can leave a lot right here. He said if we could leave these down through here and just cut out the middle, we'd be all right. But if we cut every single tree down, we're going to have to plant some more trees. But anyway, anyway, I'm going to finish cutting these like right here. We're going to make a little strip through here. You see where my truck's sitting at, by the way. That is my new truck. I did buy it. Um, don't, I was going to talk about it a little bit sooner, but I got carried away. But yeah, I'm going to come through here, keep going. You can see how this opens up. Uh, probably going to leave them there, but we're going to. Sorry, folks, my radio. Uh, we're going to just keep on going around. You can see how some of these are smaller trees. We're going to take some of them out, take some of these out here come back around and make a big circle and take this center group right here out this this group right here I uh, can't really see it up this high but it's that group right there we're just gonna make a big circle around it then we're gonna take it on in the middle and then we're gonna come in here we're gonna work this ground up fertilize it lime it and plant wheat in it and hopefully springtime we'll have a good crop of wheat and um hopefully what trees we cut out of here will take care of the loan because don't forget we got a big tractor we gotta pay for too so this is the only way i was thinking we could do that so let me shut my mouth and, and trip over over the thing god i need to wash this truck got dirty all right let's turn this bad boy on and um, once again, this is a wood chip trailer. I don't know they make this in real life. I, I know they don't make it where the logs go back on the trailer like that. I know that's not real. But somewhere I think I have seen a trailer that's like this that grinds up trees. Oh, man. Come on now. And it puts it into a big hopper. I think I've seen that on YouTube somewhere, but I'm not for sure where. But cutting these are pretty bad. At least this takes out a little bit of the, uh, whatever it's called of it. But uh, maybe here in a minute, I'll take a, show y'all the truck. It is by 82 Studio. I forgot I didn't cut all up. Oh man, there are trails over there. Okay. I'll grab these here. I'm hoping I get enough for a load and maybe pay off a little bit of the loan uh, in this episode, but uh, it ain't no telling. Here, let me grab these. Uh, let me know down below in the comments what y'all think about this. Should I do it this way or should I get the old log trailer back and, and auto load them? Please don't ask me to load them one by one. <laughs> I'm not going to do that, folks. And yes, if you uh, hear it, my nose is a little stuffy. Um, 
I don't know why. I guess, uh... Now, where's my trail at? I don't want to hit my truck. Uh, ah, I see it now. Man, I wish this thing was like the, uh... The, uh, stump grinder. You can just come in, or that molly, wally, or... I can't even think of what it's called. It, uh, tree devourer. Tree devourer. I think, I, I can't say it right. But anyway, it just devours trees. It just touches it, and boof, it's gone. It's wood chips. Now, I might bring that in here to help me out off screen. It'll still be the same thing. It'll still be wood chips. Um, it'll be a whole lot faster. Though. Um, you know what? I think I'm going to do that. That way, y'all can see what it is. Let me see if I can. I'm going to turn around and see if I can get these trees the other way. I'll probably get one load in this. That way I have some money to buy that with. Oh yeah, it eats them both ways. Good. Alright, I ain't, I ain't halfway yet. But yeah, that's what we're going to do here. I'm probably going to cut some of these down and bring y'all back. But let's uh, look at this. I wish it had a winch on the front here. But it does have uh, the plow thing. So, uh. I need to talk to Big Daddy and ask him if anybody done winter on this map because I haven't seen nobody done winter yet. I have not seen no snow on Spectacle Island. So that's going to be something new to us unless another YouTuber does it before I do. But uh, yeah, that's a four door and we got this little thing here with the compartments. Um... Yeah, I like the way it looks and stuff. I wish I had this in real life. I probably wouldn't have this huge bed on the back like this, but I love the tires and the way it looks. Let's see here. Let's get in this bad boy. I don't know if I showed this off or not. If I did, I'm sorry. I don't know if y'all can hear that. Oh, I love that. Oh. 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 Okay, let's, let's take a look at the back. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we just get the parking lots at the back. That's, that's about about right. Um, this does hold something. I think it holds fuel. 15, 1,500 liters, so it's probably fuel. So that's good. And it's got tension belts on the back. And that's even better. And this thing gets up and go too, folks. 93 miles per hour. I was kind of using that for a uh, marker. I actually think I might need... I don't know. That's, that's about right down through there. I might cut this little tree here in front of me. But, uh, yeah. That, that's, and look at the light comes on. Kind of like a night light stuff. I love the little blue ring around it. Blues right up my alley, but anyway, um, let me cut some more of these trees, get this thing here loaded, and I'm gonna meet y'all at the sale point, and then we'll get to look at the tree devourer. Well, matter of fact, let's look at it right now. Uh, it should be in forestry equipment. I think I got it in here. I should. That is the the Big Daddy's uh, Brunk Brooks. Brunk? No, it's Brooks. Brooks. All in one. Whatever. I can't say it right. My nose is half stopped up, if y'all can tell. This is not confused with Big Daddy that I've been talking about. He says it's a different one. But yeah, uh, 50,000 liters. It grinds the stumps and makes wood chips. And here's our trailer here. 175,000 liters. Let's see. Let's get on over here. I want to use this thing. I don't know why I want to use it so bad, but it just looks like something I would want to use. Uh, there's our auto load. Oh, Unreal Tree Devourer. I earned $25,000. Told you I needed uh, that. We're going to need something to put the wood chips in. Oh, man, we're going to need several things for that. <sighs> I, I think I want to do it. I, I think I want to do it because, folks, look at this loan we got a Matter of fact, well, no, I can't pay nothing back because I want to buy that. Uh, 575000 what we're loan is down to, and I keep forgetting. Let's finalize these two. That help us out a lot. 
We're at 125,000 now. And how much was that tree to buy? I just, I was right there at it. I can't remember. 125, whoa, hey, we got enough to get it. We're getting it. Oh, what is that gold color? I don't want gold color. Uh, Pink stick. Ooh, I like, I like. What's the design color? Uh, blue stick. What's blue? Is that the writing? Looks like the writing. Let's change this up to uh, blue and then change that to, um, yeah, puppies pink. Puppies pink, that's what we'll call it. All right. Uh, oh, man. I can't believe I've done that. Oh, I can't believe. Oh, come on now. I'm getting too big of a hurry for, I don't know why. All right, we're going to buy. Good, they ain't car charge nothing for painting it. Good. $473 to her name. Ah, yeah, we're going to have to, we're going to have to, uh, yeah. We're going to have to sell some of these, uh, get this loaded and sell some more so we can get a tipper trailer or something down here. Might have to buy a tipper for this truck. All right, folks, I'll be back here in a second. Coming in hot. Well, maybe not. Oh, I do that every time. Oh, 4,000 something. All right. We're getting on up here. Folks, I forgot us about something. We got a tipper. All right, 4,000 and then 19,000, bringing us up to 23,000. Um, I'm going to go drop this trailer off in the field, and I'm going to run to the shop get the tipper we got yeah the one we haul potatoes in yeah big daddy hush i know what you was thinking like you got a tipper i bet you was thinking that wasn't you all right folks this is a moment of truth right here there it goes it's putting putting wood chips in i'm gonna lower it back down i'm just going to take out some of these little ones here Cuts it, and then you just pull up, cut the stump. Hello. That ain't what it done where I go. There it goes. That's what it's supposed to do. I don't know why I was doing that. I guess it didn't. Of course, you know how trees are. They can, trees can be stubborn. Like this in here. Oh, I got it that time. Triggers. Okay, All right, let's go to the next one. Can y'all hear that? I don't know if I got my volume up or not. I hope y'all can hear that sound of the trees falling. Um, I don't, definitely don't want it up. Um, I thought this thing it through them faster than this. Oh. I guess, I guess not. Um, probably facing the wrong way or something. Alright, you got, can't pull all the way. Ah, it's best to get them before they fall. That's what it's looking like. Let me try something here pick this tree up unrealistic as I am pick it up off the ground a little bit boom okay that's what it was okay um yeah see I think uh, what we need to do is right through here just like I'm facing you can see there's three trees there Okay, I pulled up too far. Cut it, let it fall. I need to do it before it falls. I keep forgetting that. We'll just push it. All right, yep, see. Can I tilt this? Um, what am I tilting? Um, probably something in a tractor. Yep, the door's opening. Um, I don't see no other 
So I'm going to have to get it, make sure that the tree is falling when I go to run over it. Okay, we, we, we can do this. Let's see. Zoom out. What it is, I can't hear it when I zoom out. I don't turn my sound up too high. There we go. And then it just got the stump too. I got it down now, folks. Ease up to it till you hear that sound. And then what it is, the sound of cutting it, just in case y'all can't hear it. It's like a, like a, uh, the sound that you hear at the sawmill, the sound. Y'all probably can hear it. Like, Mr. Blue, just shut up so we can hear it. I know, folks. And I, I, I do that sometimes when I'm by myself, too. I'll be just talking to myself. And I'm, I'm like, I hope nobody's listening. And I heard it's okay to to, uh, to talk back to yourself, too, now. As long as you don't double answer yourself. Then you got something to worry about. <laughs> I'm kidding, folks. I'm kidding. I don't really, really talk to myself, or do I? Okay, see, that's, that's what I'm wanting to do. And I just want to continue on down that way. And like I said, I'll go and just make a circle around and come out through uh, um, right over here. I'll show you. Um, I'm, oh, I'm 28 minutes. Yeah, I'm going to fix and end this. See right here? Um, I'm going to go right through here. I'm going to shut this off. Uh, drone time again. Like I say, right where the tractor's at. It's kind of come through here with the little ones. Curve a little bit here. Come on around. Take a few of these out that's in this open spot here. And just kind of curve around through here. You can see where it's open right here. And come back out. That will be a pretty good size feel. And um, like I said, we can always make it bigger when we get a chance. But I want to do this much first. Then get in here. Uh, we got a plow. Which I want to go ahead and show you all that. Uh, drone down. Now let's run. Run, 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 run. Oh, barge. Uh, Y'all probably forgot about this, right? I haven't. I've been wanting to use it in the last episode, but I forgot. I had to do a few things first, like cut the trees out of the way. Uh, I just want to make a, a straight AB line right here. I'm going to show you all this real quick. Um this do that that oh it's gonna do it that way um no we're, we're not gonna do that i i have to take care of that in here let me do that and show you real quick turn this off snap terrain angle turn that off that's a uh, backup oh i don't want to actually i can do it right here just go ahead and reset it Get your A right there. Get backing up and hit A again. And re oh, don't hit the pole. Oh, Mr. Blue. I'm gonna tear everything up. We're gonna drop it down. Great fields. I hope this bad boy can pull. Oh yeah, there we go. We're doing it. I've been wanting to get that off the road too before somebody hit it, so. So here we are, folks. This is the game plan for this winter. Um, well, till it gets winter. I'm going to uh, come in here, just go through here till I get to this edge over there, and then I'm going to circle around and just uh, do that to it, folks. But yeah, I'm, uh, I appreciate y'all watching, folks. Uh, I really do. My truck lights are still on. Right, shut them off. All right, they're off. I'm gonna put my truck over here, and then uh, well, I ain't gonna make it no wider that way. I might come and cut one or two of these trees down, like that tree that's right there, and then leave the others, and do the same down through there. But folks, I gotta get off here. I really appreciate y'all coming out and, and uh, watching with me and stuff and farming with me. 
uh, y'all are awesome. I love each and every one of y'all. And I'm just not saying that, folks. I do. Y'all are awesome. I love the comments. Keep them coming. And, folks, I got to get off here. It's, I, I done again. A 32-minute video. What am, I, what am I going to do? Oh, I need to make some short ones. <sighs> All right. Love y'all. Y'all have a great day, a blessed day, and I'll see you in the next episode. Later. I know it's a